Hello and welcome to the channel. We are continuing with our coverage of this brand new released model Llama 3.1 from Meta of course. And in this video we are going to install Meta's Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model locally and then we will test it out. The thing with Meta's Llama models is that before you can download them, you would have to accept the agreement and then either download it from Meta's own website or do it from Hugging Face. But you would have to be approved first by Meta. For that, there are two ways. First, you could go directly to this Meta's website and I will drop the link in video description which is llama.meta.com and from there you can click on download llama and you will be presented with this screen you can sign up here and then they will give you these three choices um, which you can download of course go with llama 3.1 and once that's done you will get a download link you can simply run that download link and it is going to download the model for you but make sure that you do it within 24 hours because after that that link expires another way of doing it is to go to hugging face go to models card and then from there you would need to accept the agreement let me show you what i have done there so this is my hugging face page so i have already accepted the agreement after putting in my information and once that's done you can go to the settings on your profile and you see that my access is still pending so if I refresh it, let's see, yep, it is accepted now. Took me around 10 minutes so that, uh, but normally I have seen that it around, sometime it takes around um, one hour or so, but no more than one hour. Easiest way is to do it through Hugging Face because if you go through um, Meta's website, they will give you a shell script. You would need to run that and then select the URL which you will get in your email. So we'll be doing the installation through Hugging Face and then we will go from there. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to this Llama 3.1, I already have cov uh, covered it in a couple of videos this morning and also yesterday where we have gone into its architecture, its benchmark. So please do check those videos out. In short, Meta Llama 3.1 is a collection of multilingual LLM and it contains pre-trained and instruction tuned model in 8 billion, 70 billion and 405 billion sizes. This Llama 3.1 instruction tuned text only model is optimized for multilingual dialogue use cases and has outperformed many of the available open source and closed chat models on common industry benchmarks. Okay, so enough talk. Let me now take you to my terminal and then we will get cracking on it. So this is my terminal for Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. I will be using Conda environment and then I will do everything in Jupyter Notebook. So let me create this environment. I am calling it new Llama and then I am stepping into it by activating it. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Now let's install a few of the prerequisites which include first PyTorch and then we will install the rest of the lot. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. PyTorch is done. Next up, install transformers and make sure that you also upgrade the transformers and install the latest one because only latest transformers library, which I believe is equal to greater than 4.43.0 supports this. If you are not using it, it is not going to work. Also make sure that you go to Hugging Face website and in the profile, you in, go into the settings and grab your token which is a free token and then a read token should be fine and then just simply type hugging face type cli login it is going to ask you for your token let me paste my token as i said go to huggingface.co and then in your profile in the setting you can grab that token so i have pressed uh, 
pasted my token and you can see that login is successful now so we have installed all the prerequisites and we have also set our token now let me quickly initialize my jupyter notebook and it is going to open it in the browser so let's wait for it to load so my jupyter notebook is loaded locally let's import the libraries which we have installed transformers and torch and also i am using this 3.1 8 billion instruct model id next up let's use hugging face pipeline which is going to download tokenizer and the model for us and we'll put it in our device which is gpu let me run it and you can see that it has started downloading the model there are four shards of it around 5 gig of size so make sure that you have 20 to 25 gig space available on your hard drive and this is a point if you haven't got access if your token is not valid this is going to error out so let's wait for it to finish and the model is downloaded as you can see here and it is also present on our shards the last shot is quite smaller so around 17 gig of space okay so the model is done let's try to talk with it so in the first one the prompt i mean i'm asking uh, telling it that you are helpful assistant and then the question is what is the smallest country in the world and then i'm pushing it out to the pipeline and then printing out the results you can also increase it the max token so that you will get more um, a bigger response if you like um, or maybe i'll just in order to in the interest of time i'm just going to do the 512 okay so let me run it now it is running and there you go so it is saying that the smallest country in the world is vatican city with an area of this this is amazing stuff okay so let's now try it out on various benchmarks okay now let's try to see how are the reasoning capabilities of this model so i'm just going to replace this prompt here with something else so in this one i am asking it discuss whether a machine can ever be considered alive and consider what criteria we can use so let me run it to see how it reasons through this okay so i just need to include it in the uh, enclosure in the double quote let me fix it so there you go so i have just taken it out of that message is one and i have just put it in the variable in three double quotes let's wait for it to come back and look at the response now so you see it has reason through extremely well that the question of whether a machine can be considered alive is a complex and debated topic among scientists philosophers and experts in artificial intelligence to address this question let's examine the criteria so it has gone into different criteria like um metabolism homostasis reproduction all good stuff and then towards then it is telling us that some experts argue that this is this traditional life from me so I, because our uh, max new token is 512 but the idea which we are trying to get here is that look at how coherent the prose is and it has reasoned through very very well great stuff now let's try to ask it a logical puzzle which is quite famous and i am asking it a bat and a ball together cost dollar one and ten cents the bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much does the ball costs let's see let's wait for it to come back and there you go you can see the answer is spot on the ball costs 0 0.05 cents or five cents okay let's try out another one okay in the next one i'm asking it five people are wearing hats and each hat is either white or black each people can see the hats of the other four people but not their own how can people figure out what color their hat is now this is uh, requires some thinking and a clever cunning plan um, because this needs a strategy so let's see how model performs and i have converted the output into markdown so there you go see so this is a classical puzzle here is a solution and then it has given a step by step solution here in numerical format and then by this it says that everyone knows what color their own hat is so and it is also acknowledging that the puzzle requires a bit of literal thinking and understanding of the social dynamics of situation amazing stuff okay so it is awesome 
as far as uh, language language understanding, logical thinking, reasoning is concerned. Let's try out it. Some of the multilingual capabilities. Okay, so now for the multilingual one, first I am just asking it a question in French. So in English it means how would one celebrate best style day in Paris? So let me run it and see what it gives us. Okay, so it's sorry. I think I got a bit excited. I should have been putting it in here in our prompt. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me run it here and then let's wait for it. Let's wait for it to come back. I'm just going to delete this one without any confusion. Taking a bit of our time. And look at the response as usual. Very thorough and very, very well thought out. I have put it in Google Translate here. And there you go. So it is perfectly answered it well. Like what exactly best style day is and how important that is. So the model also understands cultural nuances, which is really awesome. And you can, if you're a French speaking one, you can also let me know what you think about the answer here in the um, French of this model. Okay, so that is done. Now let's go up and try out in one prompt in Urdu. And let me put it here. Now in this one, I'm asking it Urdu adab mein ghazal ki ahmiyat kya hai? So what is the importance of ghazal? which is a form of poetry in Urdu language. So let's wait for it to come back. And this is really amazing stuff. This is a perfect Urdu and it is telling us all about ghazals and if you translate it into English, that is amazing stuff. So really happy about it. Let's try out one last uh, in the multilingual one with Chinese. So in this one, I'm asking it what is the importance of dragons in Chinese. It has given us a response fairly quickly. So Chinese response is quite quick. That is cool. Let me print it and take it here and see what happens in Google Translate. In Chinese culture, dragon is an auspicious symbol representing blessing, wealth, longevity and power. Okay, awesome. And now let's test out some of the coding capabilities. In the first one, I'm asking you to convert the JavaScript function into Delphi. Delphi is a very old language. So let's see if it is, uh, if it understands our Delphi or not. It does. So, yep, that looks really good. So not only it has translated it into Delphi, but also it is telling us different sort of variations there. And then it has produced two versions and also telling us which one it recommends, which is the second one. Amazing stuff. Okay, now let's see if it can do code repair or fix the errors in the code. So I'm just going to replace it with this and I'm asking you to fix the issue in C++ code. Let me take you up a little bit. Okay, so let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. So it has perfectly um, awesomely identified the issue in the code and it has given us the corrected code here. And if you go down, it is also describing the code in a very, very fine way. Like this is an idiomatic C++ way. Amazing stuff. And then lastly, it is also telling us that this function will print number from 0 to n minus 1. So if you want to do something different, you can modify the loop. How good is that? Really amazing stuff. Coding capabilities are really very, I would say, excellent for this model. Okay, let's try to see if it understands geometry. So in this one, I'm asking it to draw me, uh, give me a script to draw Mendel broad set, which is a complex geometrical concept. So let's wait for it. And there you go. Look at the awesome code here. It has used all the libraries which are required, draw image and all that stuff. Then again, synopsis and description of the code. And then it is also telling us that this script may take a while to run for large values of width and height. Amazing. Okay, so in the next one, let's try to see some of the math capabilities. First up, I'm asking it to do this calculus equation. So let me run it. Because in the benchmark information earlier on, we saw that its math capabilities were not that good. Let's see what sort of result we get. But seems to me model is quite good in math too. So if you come down, you see it is just going through divide and conquer in the calculus. And then you see it is expanding 
the both sides and then it is equating the coefficients and there you go so it is going on and on and on and then this is the answer so if i compare it to chat gpt looks spot on to me and it's a quite a complex calculus problem by the way so i'm not sure about the benchmark anymore but looks really good okay let's try out one more so actually let me try to fix this in the one screen okay so in this one i'm asking it that given a matrix of this and a vector this solve the system of linear equations using gaussian elimination of any other suitable method so first thing would be interesting to see what method it uses or selects and then the answer is x is equal to one two three i get so let's see there you go so it is using these steps using gaussian elimination step by step augmented matrix how good is that look at that amazing and then if you keep going down these are the answer yeah. amazing stuff but i think let me increase the max token because it took uh i think more than 512 so i'm just making it 1512 let's wait for it to do it again as i just want to see the final result here and there you go so the final result is back let me go down and then i'm just scrolling down quickly to see what is happening and there you go. so it says that the note that the solution is an approximation yep that's correct and as the matrix a is not guaranteed to be invertible and it is describing what that means and there your answer is so look guys i think amazing model really like it um even and remember this is simply an 8 billion model just imagine the capabilities of 405 billion parameter model i will also be doing a video of it of course it i can't install it locally but uh, i already have done a, one actually testing it on various benchmarks it was sublime but i want to do a more comprehensive one through api call so stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching